Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. We said we want to change the speed of the motor. This was our hardware setup with this relay and the transistor switch in the relay. And if we want to change the speed of the motor by varying, 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 changing, changing the, the voltage level of the motor using PWM, eh, we cannot use the relay. So we will get rid of the relay. Remove this, everything which we need for the relay. Uh, remove the relay as well. And here we are to connect the motor. The motor we are connecting directly to the transistor. Okay. And I will also use this diode again. I will use this diode between the transistor's output. The emitter and ground. Okay. So now, now we should again or still be able to switch the motor. Let's see if this is really working by removing this and directly plugging it into 5 volts. Yes. So now only the transistor is switching the motor. Good. Back to 6 here. And now we could see what is happening if we are using here on the pin number 6 PWM signal. If we can change the speed of the motor. Because we will not destroy anything right now. The transistor should be able to switch with high frequencies. Let's see. Okay, so we are changing now the speed with PWM. I open a new program, yeah, save it under a nice name. The next name simply, uh, this is 23. 23. Sister, we call it. One was called relay and this one I will call the transistor. So I will define again the motor pin. This is six. Uh, and the pin mode of the motor pin is of course again the output. All right. And now what do I want to do? Int i. Uh, I want to change the step in some steps. I want to change the speed in some steps. Uh, for i equals zero, uh, i smaller than, I will already motor steps. I will make a compile time constant. Yeah. Define motor steps. I will use six steps from zero to 100% in six steps. Uh, I plus plus. All right. Uh, and then I just need to write analog write. We are writing to the motor pin. All right. Uh, how much do we need to write? It is I divided by, no, it's I plus one, yeah, because we started zero. So one divided by motor steps. What does it mean? It's this maximum is one divided by motor steps. Minimum is one divided by motor steps and maximum is, is one. All right. So I have to multiply this with 255. I think this should be correct. 
So we are delaying now. How long do we want to see a certain speed? I don't know. Two and a half seconds. And then analog right. Mirte, of course, motor pin zero and delay half a second. So I would expect if I'm downloading this now that the motor is starting to turn slowly, faster, 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 faster in six steps. And then we should reach, we, we should switch to zero and then starting over again. So let's upload this. Let's have a look. Ah, makes a noise. Ah, now it's turning faster. Yes. Ah, the first one is a little bit too small. Okay. But the other steps, they are working. Yeah. The first one, you only hear. You hear it? It is trying but cannot. So there, there is a certain amount of friction which cannot be overcome by this small amount of power. But basically it's working. You see, we can change the speed of a motor by varying the, varying the voltage level. Yeah? or sort of varying the voltage level. Even with PWM, this is working. This is working. Uh, maybe. Huh? You could simply change, change the program so that it's not working in steps. It is working in 10 steps, let's say, or in 10% steps. Huh? This, this, I think, should already be sufficient. Or you could even try uh, what what could try. You could try to use an NTC or something like this. The hotter the NTC is, the more speed is on the on the fan. For instance, yeah. Then you have a speed related cooling fan, a temperature temperature regulated cooling fan control temperature control cooling fan. Yeah, you see, it is working. Yeah. What would be nice indeed is that we can not only change the speed, but we also can change the direction. This would be nice, right? Show you something. Yeah? I'm now unplugging the motor. Yeah? The only thing I'm doing is I'm now using what I've used before at ground now at the transistor and the other thing which was previously at, at the transistor so plus i'm plugging into ground and you will see it's turning now in the other direction okay so if we if we reverse the voltage it is turning in a different direction we can, this would be nice if we cannot just do this by hand, but also automatically. Therefore, we need something called an H bridge. And this is exactly what we are going to talk about in next video. In next video, we are going to talk about the H bridge, what an H bridge is, and we have such thing motor driver, H-bridge motor driver in our Arduino starter kit. I will show you in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.